the field, and the Dodgers are not out on the field. For right now, the Coliseum, all of the lights will be turned out as Pee Wee Reese wheels the chair that holds Roy Campanella across the first base foul line and heads him towards the pitching mound. The lights are going out. This final tribute to Roy Campanella. The lights will be lowered, and everyone at the ballpark, 93,000 people, in silent tribute to light a match to Roy Campanella. And we would like to think that as 93,000 people light the match, there would be 93,000 prayers for a great man. The lights now are starting to come out like thousands and thousands of fireflies starting deep in center field, glittering around the left, slowly the entire ballpark, lighting up with individual lights. And Roy Campanella is the One can only imagine the atmosphere in the historical Los Angeles Coliseum on the night of May 7, 1959. A record crowd of 93,103 West Coast baseball fans had come to honor Roy Campanella, one of the greatest catchers of all time. He was the second black player to win an MVP award, with Jackie Robinson being the first. He was the first black player to win two MVP awards and would go on to win three in his 10-year career, including 1955, when the Brooklyn Dodgers would finally break through and beat their rival New York Yankees in the 1955 World Series. He would later become the second black player to be elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, with only Jackie Robinson being the only one elected before him. This card tells the story of all those accomplishments on the field. It tells the story of the tragic night in January of 1958 when he lost control of his car on an icy road, leaving him paralyzed just days before he was to leave for spring training for the Los Angeles Dodgers, who had just left Brooklyn fans heartbroken a few months prior to join the Giants in California as the first two Major League Baseball teams on the West Coast. This card tells of the incredible human ability to persevere over even the most challenging of life circumstance, and it tells of how much those people in the Coliseum that night, many who had never seen him play, it tells how much they cared for and respected Roy Campanella, and also how appreciative they were to have a baseball team in Los Angeles. This card from the high number series of 1959 tops, card number 550, not only represents the story of the early days of the Los Angeles Dodgers, but it also tells the story of how fun and interesting card collecting can be. Thanks for stopping in and listening to this story.